okay, Richard? Yes, I'm fine. I don't think we can get back up that way. Doesn't look like it. Amber, Richard, are you okay? We're fine. Keep going. We'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Be careful down there. Kind of takes you back to when we were kids, huh? Except Sophie was with us as well. Yeah, she was. Asbel? What is it? How is Lambda doing? Has he been speaking with you or trying to manipulate you in any way? No, he hasn't tried anything like that. I almost killed Sophie because I carried that thing inside me. If that ever happened to you... Don't worry, Richard. Sophie and I are just fine. It's true that neither of us knows what Lambda will do going forward. But living with Lambda was my decision. Whatever problems come up, I'll find a way to deal with them. Will you go away forever, like, like your, your father, father did? Will I be left behind because I'm not human? Whatever problems. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I probably just hurt myself when we fell. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's go. That definitely looked like your eye pulsated and that Lambda was kind of like waking up and stuff. Ow! That wound must be more serious than you thought. Yeah, maybe. I sure wish Sharia was here. Ah, uh, of course. You finally reunite with Sharia after a half year, only to be torn asunder once more. Actually, that's not what I... I understand. And yet, why so long? Sharia has been busy with her work, but I know she's had many occasions to return to Lant. She's been back twice, and both times I was in important meetings with my people. Fool! What am I going to do with you, Asbel? Huh? Who is more important? The woman who comes all the way to see you or some inconsequential vassal? Uh, hey, my vassals aren't inconsequential. Clearly, I need to educate you on the many great facets of gentlemanly behavior. Thanks, but I'll pass. <laughs> Boy, you better accept the gentlemanly behavior from the king. <laughs> oh my goodness, Richard. Oh, man, see, stuff like that just makes me wish Richard had been with us the entire game. Man, I love Richard's character. I really do. I wish he would have been in more of the game. It's kind of like the same thing with Gaius in the first Tales of Zillia game. I wanted more of Gaius in the first Tales of Zillia game, but he wasn't around that much in the first Tales of Zillia game. Sylph Cloak definitely goes on Richard. Ye olden uh, King of Windor. I think I'd just rather keep the evasion. Yeah... Yeah, I'll just keep the royal cloak for now. But yeah, that, you know, stuff like that really makes me wish we still, we had had Richard for the majority of the game. But oh well. The game still went well without him. Without him being there as much. I hope Sherry and the others are doing alright. Hubert and Captain Malik are there. I'm sure they're fine. Anyway, this place seems safe. Why don't we rest for a bit? Why? How long have we been traveling that we need to take a rest? Hey, Richard? Yes? Do you ever think about the future? I mean, decades from now? Where'd that come from? Sophie was talking about how I'm gonna leave her behind when I die. I told her it was decades away and she shouldn't worry about it. I mean, I hadn't even really thought about it myself. But that just made her more upset. She said the years would pass in no time at all. Is that why she isn't here? It made me realize how differently she experiences time. 
She seems so human. Sometimes I forget she won't grow old and die like the rest of us. I've always treated her like a normal person, and I don't regret that at all. But at the same time, I haven't given the future a whole lot of thought. Perhaps these are thoughts you should share with her instead of keeping them to yourself. If she mentioned it to you, it's likely a concern she's had for some time. That's true. You were able to accept Lambda's loneliness. If anyone can help Sophie with hers, it's you. You're right. Thanks for talking to me. Happy to help. Come on. I'm sure the others are getting worried. Then let's go. See, this is why Richard is just the best. Man, Richard is a great character. Alright then, don't seem to be any skits. Let's move right along. What is that thingamajig right there? I'ma touch it! I wonder how the others are doing. Switch parties? I assume I have to. This is a very interesting mechanic. We haven't had this in the entire game. I can't make out anything from up here. Asbel, Richard, are you okay? We're fine. Keep going. We'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Be careful down there. That's my brother. Tough as a rock, if nothing else. We should move before more monsters show up. Let's get to move on. All right. I guess I'm gonna run around as Hubert, and I want to play as Malik. All right, let's go. Let's see if we get any uh, skits. Always want to make sure I get them skits. Gotta love me some skits. I just really want to say the word skits right now. I don't know why. Maybe I'm schizophrenic. I'm not. That was just the first, like, I don't know. First thing that came to my mind that went with the word skits. Lavender. I never use those things. Like, never. Stat boost stuff, I never use them. I even, I'm pretty sure I even talked about using them before fighting the final boss, which was Lambda, but I didn't. Welp. No point in using them now. Well, I guess there would be a point to using them now. Get that freaking scorpion away from me. That thing looks terrifying. Aha! Cutscene. There certainly are a lot of monsters down here. I just hope what we're doing helps to lessen the attacks on our people. Your relief organization must have been heavily taxed recently. Are you getting enough rest? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just glad I can help somehow. I was so sick as a child, I never thought I'd be able to do anything. I guess I'm trying to make up for it now. That's good for the people, but what about you? What about you and Asbel? Is the entire purpose of Lineage and Legacies to talk about Sherry and Asbel getting married and Sophie, like, not being able to grow old and die? Is that the whole purpose behind this? My mother says he's been swamped with marriage proposals. Oh? Guys like him may be slow on the uptake, but once they make a choice, things tend to move quickly. Well, I wish he'd hurry up so our mother can stop worrying about it. Why don't you get married first? That might help ease her mind a little. Well, why are we talking about me now? Don't play dumb. We've all heard about your possible engagement to the president's daughter. What? Really? How do you know about that? People talk, I listen. At this rate, you'll be the new president of Strata in no time. Hubert, when did this happen? It's nothing to do with me. The president brought up the idea of his own accord. Wait, 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 wait. How would Hubert marrying the president... The president's daughter. I was about to say the president of the daughter. That makes no sense. The daughter of the president. How would Hubert marrying the daughter of the president in any way make him the president of Strata? He would have to be... Isn't the whole purpose of Strata? It's like a voting system, right? It's a democracy. That's why it's called the president of Strata. It's like in, a, it's like in the US, in America, like where I live. I know how that works. Like, right now our president is Barack Obama. The, I don't even know if Barack Obama has a daughter. I don't even know if he has any kids. I know he's married. I don't know if he has any children. But if he does have a daughter, or if he doesn't have a daughter, say he did have a daughter, the person who marries the daughter of Barack Obama is not going to become the next president. We're going to vote for the next president, I believe, in 2016. 2016 is the next presidential election, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, so, regardless of if Hubert marries her or not, like, that might win him some favor of the people in Strata and, like, help him with them voting for him. I don't doubt that they would vote for Hubert, but just marrying the daughter of the president of Strata would mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. And even if I did marry her, that doesn't mean I'd take over Strata. I just explained that only for Hubert to say it in one sentence. Ah, I'm so smart. The presidency is not passed down through a bloodline. I thought you knew that. I knew that. Hey, wait up. Kids these days. <laughs> Those darn kids. Bum bum ooh. Marriage, huh? It's a wonderful thing. That strange talk coming from a lifelong bachelor. They say that when life breaks your spirit, a wife can help to mend it. And when you find yourselves apart, you need only shut your eyes to see her again. Until she seizes control of your life one piece at a time and you find your own hopes and dreams put on hold. You can't even spend your own salary. You have to beg permission for every little thing you want to buy. Precious belongings you've labored to collect are tossed like so much junk. And yet she thinks nothing of taking your purse and blowing all your coin on some fancy hat. That's very specific. Have you been married before? Even a cursory examination of the topic proves that this is the only outcome. Instead of selecting a wife who intends to live solely through her husband's station, one should seek an independent-minded woman that... Yes, well, I think I've said enough. And if you're so eager to endorse the institution of marriage, perhaps you should get married yourself. In any case, marriage is a wonderful thing. Don't you agree, Sherry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sherry? Huh? Oh, right. Marriage. Yeah, sure. You should marry someone if you want. I can't imagine doing it myself. Um... Sherry? Waiting until you've completed all the things you want to do would be pretty selfish. Wouldn't it? Mmm... <sighs> <sighs> Oh my goodness, Hubert has got it all figured out. Hubert knows what's up. Uh, wait a minute, I can check this? What is this? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't need that crap. <laughs> Hubert knows what's up. He he understands. Oh my goodness, that was great. Hey, I can switch to the other party, sure. Oh my goodness, I gotta wrap up soon. That was great. Apparently all the- Ah, oh, where do I- Wait, I think I need to switch parties again. This stupid Nova Wolf is trying to get to me. I don't want to fight as just Asbel and Richard because I won't have anyone to fight. Uh, I saw an orange thing over here. I think it'll go down there to Asbel and Richard. Yeah, right there. I'm about to sneeze again. I don't want to sneeze again. Uh, yep, sent it right down. All right, that probably got to them. Bum bum. I'm going to backtrack as Asbel to the save point I saw before, and we're going to save and call it a day. And then when we come back, we'll do a... Uh... Well, actually, let me go forward a bit and see if there's one there. Yeah, I got a little bit of time. Oh, come on! Really? Really? Get the wolf first. Or not the wolf. Get the stupid bird first. Oh my goodness, the damage. Richard, let's go and just annihilate everything in the universe. That seems like the easiest solution. I am, like, annihilating all these things. Look at all of this damage. Elith burst, please. Just kill it. Damage times one billion. Holy crap, you're dead. We won't fail. Jeez, I am OP. I don't need Sherry to heal. I, sh I just need to be me. What is that green thing there? Is this a party switch? Yeah, it is. Huh. Apparently, I gotta do a lot of switching around of the party. Where does this one go? Does this take me to a save point? That would be convenient. Nope, doesn't look like it. I can knock this down really fast. Oh, no, that goes up. My bad. That's right. I'm down. They're up. So I would knock stuff up, not down. Makes sense. Uh, let's double back to the save point really fast. Do, 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 do. Is there one, like, right here? Or do I need to go back a little bit further? I think I need to... Yeah, I need to go back just a tad further. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry about this, guys. But, uh, gotta wrap up. It's about, yeah, it's about 11.30 almost my time. 11.30 uh, p.m., so, you know, like, nighttime. 
And I have classes in the morning, so I gotta get going to bed pretty soon so I can actually get up in the morning and drive without falling asleep. Because, you know, falling asleep while driving is not a good idea. I would not recommend you ever attempt it in your life. Um, what does this do? Is this like a... Yeah, it's that stuff. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's save up and call it a day. Save over that one. Alright, so we're working through Lineage and Legacies. I have no idea how long Lineage and Legacies is. Uh, I'm going to... I don't even I don't even really want to take a guess. It also looks like I can't do my double save file trick. It looks like that's a separate save file from the main game, so I'm going to need to save over that. Hope my recordings don't mess up. And then, like, uh, leave the other save file as my main game save, I guess is what I'm going to have to do. But anyways, I don't know how long this is going to be. Hopefully it's not too long, because I do want to get to the rest of the post game and kind of wrap it up, you know, finish up the game. Since Zestiria is coming out soon, I'm going to be putting a lot more focus on Zestiria than Grace's. And I want to try and finish Grace's ASAP because of that. But uh, we're, we are going to finish all of Lineage and Legacies. And after that, uh, we've got Rakugan Fight, uh, Final Dungeon, one more Arithmos Core Monster in the Guardia Shaft. That one shouldn't take long at all. That's like not even a full video. Rakugan should be one video at most because I'm pretty sure all it is is the Rakugan Fight. Uh, I don't know how long the Final Dungeon will take. Uh, the Final Dungeon in Tales of Zillia, I think, took me seven parts. Somewhere around there. I think I recorded an hour and 45 minutes at the time, which was about seven parts when I finished that. Uh, I don't know how I remember that so well, but I'm pretty sure it was about seven parts for the final dungeon of... Was that Zillia 1 or Zillia 2? I think it was Zillia 1. Anyways, that aside, I don't know how long the final dungeon will take. I'll assume five parts minimum, ten parts max. So we've still got about... From this part, we've still got at least ten more parts, I'd say, which is ridiculous. I didn't want the post game to be that long, but, you know... That's how it goes. And then we've still got the scanning stuff. I know there's at least one thing I can scan with the, like, little uh, robot body Lambda's original ship that I can go to. There's probably more than that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time where we will continue on through Lineage and Legacies. Until that time, farewell.